So we were talking just a minute ago, guys, about tilt-up construction. Good evening out there. Thanks for tuning in to the Profit Dig Construction Show. I'm Jeff Givens. This is Chris Work. Jeff Spencer. What's up? And over here we've got Jerry Work behind the camera. Big thumbs up. <laughs> He's only had a few beers. He's all right. <laughs> well, and cut. <laughs> and what's the cricket chirping? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we were talking just a minute ago, guys, about. Tilt up construction. Mm -hmm. Tilt up construction. Yeah. I uh, got to be honest with you. It's the first time I'd ever heard it. And so. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I had not heard the, the, the term either. Um, but we know what it is. It's, yeah. it's pretty self-explanatory. We do now. Yes. Well, we do now. We've been well informed. Yeah. Been <laughs> well informed. Yeah. So, Jeff Spencer, you have any knowledge to share with our listeners and viewers on tilt up construction? Yeah. Why? How? Well, it's kind of a deal, you know, like most times it's, it's a time, essence of time type deal. Okay. Uh, you know, the only best scenario I can give you, you know, is relating to, say you got a half a million to a million square foot warehouse. Uh, you stop and think about how many blocks, you know, say that building is, is 20 feet tall at the eve. <clears throat> You know, just how, how many blocks, how many people's going to take, how much mortar it's going to take to lay all those blocks. And most of the time, you know, they'll come back and they'll like flow fill those blocks, you know, to make them a, a solid wall. Mm -hmm. uh, so laying blocks generally is cheaper than pouring concrete. But, you know, the tilt-up world is like you pour your slab, and I've seen it done, you know, numerous ways. A lot of people will go in and form up and pour their walls right on the slab and have a crane walk around and set them up. And then sometimes, you know, they'll go around and they'll have slabs poured around the building that's not part of the actual structural slab, just temporary slabs, just to form up and pour their walls. They'll pour the walls and set them with a crane. Uh, but, you know, something that would take a month and a half, two months to lay blocks on, Week, week and a half, you've poured your concrete walls and you've stood them up. Wow. And so, I mean, it's, it's really, you know, pushes the job along, gains a lot of time, cuts your time down as far as delivering to the customer. Mm -hmm. uh, so if but, time's your goal, yeah, it makes it is. Good option. Yeah, yeah, it is. But the other thing is, like, you know, if you are another contractor, another trade, and you're working around that building, when it comes time to pour those walls and stand them up, you're pretty much shut out for those couple of weeks there you know because mm. they've got to have all that area you know to get those walls poured get them stood up and there's not a whole lot of work can go on can around a building at that time uh but you know it's it's got it's got its holdbacks you know just like it's got its pluses you know but it's theoretically it's to speed a job up you know to turn it over a little quicker than what you normally would and depending on the size of the building the cost efficiency, you know, it, it may be better. It could be a little worse, you know, but a lot of times you got to give that up, you know, to, in, in, in essence of time to, mm -hmm. if you've got a projected timeline, you got to turn that building over to. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there can be bonuses to <clears throat> get oh, yeah. that thing knocked out a little yeah, sooner, yeah, you know? Yeah, so. you know, certain, certain jobs, yes, yeah. you do. You know, so what are the real completion. drawbacks then? So you mentioned some of the positives of it. Well, I mean, like the drawbacks are, you know, it's like you've got your, your job site, you know, tied up, you know, for a couple of weeks there. You know, you can't yeah. progress on other trades. On other trades. Uh, and like, you know, like I'm not a structural contractor, so if I'm in there, I'm working. I'm either doing grade work, I'm working on utilities, you know, something that aspect. I've been in there working, and now all of a sudden I've got to move my people out. So I've got, you know, cost that could come to me, and like if I – if I don't have the extra equipment, I've got to haul my equipment out and take it to another job. If I've got another job available, i got to, you know, try to find something for my guys to do for that time period. Uh, I may have finished up everything off-site that I can do. I may not have nothing I can do on that job. So, you know, it's, it's just kind of a drawback, you know, as far as other trades mm -hmm. uh, trying to, to 
keep your men busy and, and may have to move them to another job. Mm. Now, say you're bidding that job, are you thinking about that? If that is the type, if, if it's still type construction on this job site and you're putting together the bid for your portion, whether it be some, sometimes, fire or- Sometimes, you know, and I try to qualify my bids, you know, it's like, you know, if this is a tilt up job, you know, uh, there may be additional mobilization and demobilization, you know, that, that it will apply mm. in, in the form of a change order. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, but uh, other trades, if you're not, you know, actually bidding the building yourself, you may not know until you get on site if it's a tilt up job or if it's going to be a block job. You, you just may not know you that. May not know that. Yeah. Yeah. So you said to. Because, you know, like, <laughs> when you get we, everything I do, I deal off of the, the civil drawings. Right. So, you know, well, I'm giving the civil package. So I don't really see the architect. You know, I, I just see a, a square or rectangle building pad. That's all I see. It doesn't give any detail if it's going to be a tilt up or wood structure or, you know, steel structure, what it may be. Gotcha. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. That's good to know. And I guess if you're, you know, you're staring at this bid proposal and you know it's a tilt up job and you're just not sure what to do moving forward, well, just take yourself to profitdig.com. For only $99 a month, you too can have the world's easiest to use construction bidding and job costing solution. And you can track that job cost at the line item level. And then when you get in those tilt up construction jobs and you're not sure if you're making or losing, you're going to know because you use Profit Dig. Right. Jeff, thanks for your knowledge as always. Thank you, sir. Jeff, appreciate yours, Chief Technical Officer. Check us out, ProfitDig.com. We'll see you soon. See you guys. Later. Later.